Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. I find your ignorance awfully convenient. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the scents on that list. There has to be some kind of mistake. In my experience, Proctor Quinlan doesn't make mistakes. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a synth they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone AWOL, disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you and then swore you to secrecy. You have to believe me. He... He never told me he was a synth. <laughs> Apparently, I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. I won't do it. Dance deserves a chance to explain himself. The man didn't do anything wrong. You will do it. This is not up for judgment or debate. I'm giving you a direct order, Knight, and I expect you to follow it without question. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. Attention. Any personnel who have not completed oh, their annual Knight. medical evaluation should report to Knight Captain Cade immediately to schedule an examination. Things. That is all. I don't want to talk about it. I understand. On to your orders, then. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports, and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? How did you hear about it? There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Maxon's made it clear that we're to locate Paladin Dance, and if we find him, report his location to you. That can only mean you've been sent to hunt him down. I don't have time to discuss it right now, Halen. Why? In too much of a rush to pull the trigger? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen, you're addressing a senior officer, and you will show her the respect that she's due, or so help me I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? 
Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding Dance. Yes, ma'am. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, ma'am. Scribe Halen. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? I... <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Well, before you do, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect. And my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. Why are you telling me all of this? Because someone has to before you rush off and carry out Maxon's orders without thinking about what you're doing. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you, not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being. Give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. What we have to do is not follow orders given to us by a lunatic. All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. <sighs> Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was Listening Post Bravo, an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now. Or if he trusts any of us at all. Hope you plan on using your robot powers for good. Scribe Halen. I know you'll do the right thing.
attention. This is now a combat zone. You may suffer harm. Uh. Expected. <clears throat> I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. I wish you would have told me the truth, Dance. I might have, if I'd known what I was. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? No, but I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that we're good friends, and this must be very difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else, but that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees, and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. If you really feel that way, why did you run in the first place? The moment I learned the truth, I knew my life was in danger. I'm a soldier, so self-preservation kicked in. I needed to regroup and assess the situation. Once I got here, and I had some time to think, I realized I'd just made everything worse. I should have stayed on the Pridwin and accepted the inevitable. Like I said, I need to be the example, not the exception. The empathy that you're showing me, it's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. No. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? I've already lost my family. I don't want to lose my friend. You're right. How could I have been so blind? I should consider how my death might affect the people that care about me. People like you and Halen. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. Whatever you decide to do, I've got your back. Thank you, my friend. But I have my own path to follow. The only clear choice is for me to leave the Commonwealth. The sooner I make for the border, the sooner I put this behind me. Take my holotags. Use them to prove that your mission was a success, or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Let's get the hell out of here. One heck of a get up, Blue. Going up.
How dare you betray the Brotherhood? It's not her fault. It's mine. I'll deal with you in a moment. Knight, why has this... this thing not been destroyed? He's still alive because you're wrong about him. Him? Dance isn't a man. It's a machine. An automaton created by the Institute. It wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother. It was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine is machine. The two were never meant to intertwine. By attempting to play God, the Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond measure. After all I've done for the Brotherhood, all the blood I've spilled in our name, how can you say that about me? You're the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushing the envelope, completely disregarding the repercussions. Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. Dance wants to save mankind, not destroy it. You're as delusional as you are insubordinate. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory. And some of my memories aren't my own. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the Brotherhood, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust. And I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this any longer. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity. And I thank you for it. Whatever you decide. Know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touching. Either you execute Dance, or I will, Knight. The choice is yours. After all the sacrifices I've made, and all the battles I've fought for the Brotherhood, you need to listen to me. You owe me that much. Very well. I'm listening. If I've earned any of your trust or respect while I've served with the Brotherhood, then I'd gladly trade it to keep Dance alive. You value this machine's life that much. So, it appears we've arrived at an impasse. Allowing Dance to live undermines everything the Brotherhood stands for. Yet you insist that he remains alive. Which leaves me with only a single alternative. Dance, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this Brotherhood Knight, and your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the Pridwin, or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of Steel. Should you choose to ignore me, know you'll be fired upon immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. The only reason you're still alive is because of her. I'm returning to the Pridwin Knight. Take some time. Say your goodbyes. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. Hey. It took a hell of a lot of guts to stand up to Maxim like mm, that. Someone's not interested in visitors. Friends take care of each other. No matter what. That they do. Which is why I've decided to stay here. I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days at this old listening post. But it will have to do. Besides, you're still gonna need my help. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let you wander the Commonwealth alone. Now, you better get back to the Pridwin. In the meantime, 
I'll start making this bunker more livable. If you ever need me, I'll be right here. Are you gonna have a problem killing synths? I might physically be a synth, but my heart and mind belong to the Brotherhood. The Institute is still a tremendous threat to the Commonwealth. They possess technologies that need to be confiscated or destroyed. I promise you, I won't hesitate to pull the trigger on them. What about Halen? I don't think Maxon knew she was involved, so she'll be safe. I'll contact her and let her know what happened here. It's the least I could do. Goodbye, Dance. Farewell. I hope the next time we meet, it will be under happier circumstances. I suppose this is goodbye. I'll be here if you need me. I need you to get out of your power armor. You got it. Say the word. Hey, Piper. Anything you need? Your thoughts? I can't believe Dance was a synth. I, I mean, I, I can, because, you know, I've heard him speak. Your thoughts? The Institute wants to clean out Libertalia. Are they actually doing something good for the Commonwealth, or did we slip into a parallel universe? Your thoughts? Sure don't make them like they used to. Talking about you, Blue. Liberty Prime's coming along. Can't you wait to see him. Reporting is ordered, Elder. Before we continue, I want to make one thing clear. This conversation will be the last time we speak about Dance. As far as the Brotherhood of Steel is concerned, he's dead. Do you understand? I'll never understand it. But I'm not going to mention him again. Then consider this a lesson to reflect upon as your service to the Brotherhood continues. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours, including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. Where did Dance keep his power armor? I'm certain you can find it in Proctor Ingram's section of the ship. Wear it with pride. Just be aware that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them. 
or disappoint me. In any event, we still have the Institute to contend with, and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Superstructure integrity green. Hull plating stable. Hull plating integrity looks good. No need for adjustments. 